Camp Kenny. All right, as you can see, uh, the Aquascape guys are in town and they are working on the good old wreck pond. It is chaos over here, uh, but it's kind of fun chaos. We got gravel everywhere, we got track loaders. But here's what I've been doing and I wanted to show you all. So for the longest time, you've heard me complain about the snake room, how I dislike the snake room. I can't stand the snake room, blah, blah, blah. Well, what I've finally done is got off my butt and of course I decide the week that there's the most work going on possible for me in the highest stress levels to get going on this, but uh, that's how I go. Once I get motivated, I am off and running. So uh, I've done a lot to the cage, but first things first, let's look at Slinky's house. I widened Slinky's ramp that gets him up there so he doesn't struggle so much. And then I took out the plastic and I put down this mesh, uh, the wire here. Slinky is floating around somewhere. There he is handsome guy what's up slinks anyway um this is good he can walk on this no problem and then if he poops it goes right down to the ground uh, i may throw a nice big piece of slate rock up here uh and when i do that'll be nice because the sun will heat it up and he can lay on that but let's go look at what i'm doing with the snakes okay so as you remember the hog island boas used to have this entire entire shelf well i needed the space and the snakes are not large enough to where they need all of this. So I've made three compartments. I had some extra material, three quarter inch square tubing. Just get some corner braces right here. Okay, from Home Depot or, or hardware store. You get these corner braces and you can attach them to other metal. Used wood, spray painted it all, little angle aluminum here to door stop it. All right, uh, so I framed this out, put this up. So now we've got a really cool um, kind of section of cage. And when I put the branches in, we're gonna make use of all this uh, square footage in here. All right, there's a lot of square footage in there. So the snakes will have different shelves and so on and places to bask. I'm even gonna remove sections of that tree up there to get more, uh, sh more shade removed rather uh, for more basking. Uh, same thing here. The doors are gonna be right there, door right there, and it's gonna open that way. This door will open this way. Uh, very cool stuff. So that's that's what I've been doing right here. And here it is almost completed. So I've got these little latches. This is how we're gonna do it. Just go ahead and, oh, well, maybe I need to adjust my latches. I don't know. There we go. You just put the latch in, all right? But now it's completely enclosed. So I wanted to show you guys the final touches I'm gonna be doing with this thing, all right? Um, we've drilled holes out in here, not we, me. I drilled a bunch of holes through this PVC board. That's what I'm using, it's a PVC board. And basically what that'll do is it will allow things to drain. Up, oh, look, there's Lola coming to say hello. Hi, baby. There's Lola, what's up? There's Guapo. It's a nice day here. Uh, this is where the hog islands are gonna go. I gotta get them out of a tub. They've been living in a tub and that's just not the way I like to do things. It's been cold the last few weeks. Um, so they had to come inside. It's warmed up again. We got nice uh, branches here that are nice and secure. I'm gonna get some mulch. We're gonna fill this in. I just uh, painted their house. So you guys are coming along for the ride. This is what we're gonna do now. Let's go get the mulch. Oh, by the way, I also spray foamed this. Okay, so there was a gap there. So I spray foamed it. They won't be able to get out. I'm gonna fill this up with the mulch right about to, to here. Okay, so it'll fill up. And uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's go get a bag of mulch bring it in and uh see how that goes let's let's do it this is fun man so there's so much chaos going on uh once i get done with this i'll feel a lot better because as you'll see the, the snakes are just kind of hanging out in in a uh kind of a tub so we're gonna get them out and get them happy so we're gonna grab a bag of mulch this is just regular old cypress mulch okay um i don't buy any kind of you know um like dyed or anything like that we don't do any dyes we just do the mulch uh i like it it's simple the animals don't mind it uh it's a decent little substrate and it's only about three dollars a bag so it's cost effective okay so that's important too because we're trying not to break the bank as you can imagine the the rec pond is already breaking my bank account enough uh even with the super duper discount that i'm getting uh all right so 
let's uh, put you guys right here. All right, I'm gonna put you down. Just hang around there for a second while I open this bag up and dump it on in. All right, let's see, will one bag do it? Maybe two bags, to be honest, let's see. Let's see what we get when we put this in. I kind of love this. I mean, I, you guys know I love creating cool habitats for the animals. And uh, that's kind of what we're doing right now. Really cool habitat. I think one bag of mulch is going to do it here, people. I think it's going to do it. Now, this will settle in. It does compact a little bit. But remember, the snakes don't really dig. Oh, I think that looks good. What do you guys think? Let's move it over a little. A little over there, a little over there. Oh, yeah. I think we got lucky, people. I mean, I could do one more if I wanted, but I don't think it's necessary. I don't think that's necessary at all. All right, let's go get the house. Actually, you know what I wanted to do? I should have got the house first because um, I think I want to put that house. Hey, who could that be? Let's see, we got so much going on here today. Hold on. Ah, it's Greg the Pond Guy. Let's see what Greg has to say. Dude, I'm filming a video. What's up? You there? Oh, Jesus, I'm in between. I'm trying to, I'm, uh, I'm okay. I'm doing, I'm finishing up a snake cage and I'm filming a little video for everybody. And then uh, just waiting for you to get here to keep me calm. There's so much stuff going on. The, uh, the, the yard is torn up. Look at the tracks in the driveway. Oh, everyone's like, everyone on the video is gonna be laughing at me. But yeah, I'm excited, Greg. Just nervous, excited, terrified. <laughs> Say that again, Greg. This is another day at the office for us, buddy. Oh, you are a buddy, man. I can't wait to see this thing done. Um, I was just showing everybody how I, I'm, I'm trying to distract myself by getting the snakes and outdoor enclosure. So when are you going to be over here, Greg? I don't know. I might be going to Paul's new house today to look at his area. And of course, he wants a recreation park. Yeah, man. And I'm and I'm working, I'm, I'm, I'm 35 minutes away, so I'm going to Uber it over when I do. All right, well, everything's good. I'm going to be here throughout the day, and uh, I will see you when you get here, okay? All right, buddy, thanks. All right, bud. Later. Had to take that call, everybody. Sorry. Uh, anyway, the good old Greg is doing his thing, but I just noticed something. I just noticed somehow Lola just dug through. She came out of something that, did she? Oh, no. No, I don't think they dug through. I think they walked. You guys, what are you doing? See, this is the thing. We got Slinky, the Lola. Come on, Lola, get back over there. Now, Guapo. I mean, it's constant. It's constant work, guys. Oh, come here, guys. Oh, my big boy, I love you. I love this lizard. Look at that face. Is that beautiful? Such a good animal. Goodness gracious. All right. You stay right there, Bubba. Now, let's see. Oh, okay. I thought they somehow dug through, but I got wire in there. All right, let's go get, let's go get the house. All right, we got to leave that open for a second because I'm going to have one hand. We got to leave this open, but we definitely don't want Slinky to get out. So all I did was took a little crate, shipping crate, put a hinge on it, and there's their little house. It's very simple. It'll get the job done. I ain't trying to win any, well, ain't trying to win any carpentry awards, everybody. Um, but let's do this. Let's get this in and then let's shut the doors before any more lizards decide they want to take off. This is no joke, guys. So much work here today. Oh, I hope you guys are enjoying the shaky video. Oh, get in there. All right, we got that. Now let's go back here. Let's grab this. This is what I deal with every day. I do all this work myself. Hey, look out, Lola. What are you doing? Come on, baby. Stay in. All right. So here's what I want to do. I want to move this a little bit. Oh, goodness. All right. Where do you think we should put it? I think right over here, because it's easy access. I can reach right in, open it up, check in, bada bam, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. Let's do this. Let's just push this back. And this is also going to be good because it winds up giving us more, giving us more. Oh, I might want to cut this though. Let's see if I can rip it out. I don't need it to be that poofy. And I want this to fit more flush. 
There we go. There we go. That's the way you do it. When you don't feel like walking around anywhere else. Oh. All right. Here we go. I gotta take this. Oh. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. What a cool snake house. Pull this up here. Oh yeah, this is way cool. Woohoo! All right. What do you think? I mean, it's simple, right? But what's neat is this particular house has two little compartments, a his and hers. If they don't want to co-mingle, they don't have to. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna place this up here because now we need to get water. We gotta do water for the Hog Island Boas. I'm excited to get them back outside. I think they're gonna be real thrilled with their home. Um, I know some of you might think, oh, but they had more space before. This is still more than enough space. And the best part is, is they are not in, they are not in a, uh, what's it called? Uh, a tub, which is nice. We don't want to do that. So uh, let's go. Well, let's see. I got all the animals in because it was a cold night. So we're going to pull them out too. Here we go. We have turtles. They're coming out. You see how much work it is, everybody? We have the blue iguanas right here. Pull them out. Oh, one hand, come on. Oh. Then we gotta get the monkey tails out. The monkey tails are gonna be living in here for a while. It's a nicer enclosure. Um, I put the I wound up putting the uh, diamond pythons in the other enclosure. I'll show you when we go back in, you'll see. Okay, there, here are the boas hiding out in here. Uh, they're in this box, they're underneath the thing. Let's see what, let's see where they are. Let's see, let's see, there they are. Oh good, they're right there, perfect. Okay, but I wanna get their water dish. Water, water, water everywhere. Let's fill it up. That's a nice water dish. We'll rinse it out, fill it up. This is just, uh, just so you know, the, the, the markings, the stain is actually just hard water deposits. It's actually not dirty. I could get rid of it, but it would involve a lot of chemicals and stuff. So it doesn't bother me, it doesn't bother the animals. So just a little hard water deposit. All right. Oh, I didn't want to put my thumb in there. I have an open cut. Mm. What a bummer, man. Hold on. I'm a little nervous. Let's do this. I hope you guys appreciate this video. I really do. Because it's not easy doing this by myself. Did I mention that? I'm complaining, I think. I don't like complaining. It's horrible. Okay. I'm just um, freaking out because of all the construction that's going on today and the rest of the week. Okay, get this water and then we're getting some snakes. We're gonna watch them slither. Slither! Now, the other cool thing I can do uh, that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up on top. I actually have water that's plumbing. I have some plumbing up here and I can throw tea in the, in the hose and it'll create a drip and it just drips and overflows. So it fills this up when the timer comes on. All three of these will have automatic watering, which will be super dope. Hey, what are you doing? You just want to go visit with Slinky, don't you? I can't have you guys fraternizing. Thank you. Oh, like I was saying, remember um, I was talking about the diamond pythons? I'll show you there now where the monkey tails are. It was just easier to move these guys in here and give them a really nice place to climb and hang out. So here they are. There are the diamond pythons. Very, very happy animals doing their thing. So now they have all this room. And we're gonna do, it's kind of like the snake iguana hangout. Okay, let's get this done, people. Now it is time for the snakes. Funny thing about, oh, come on. No, no, no! I should go get some food. 
and throw it over there for her. But I gotta get the snakes. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Stressful. Okay. There's Nick. Good job, Nick. Love what you've done to the driveway. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get ourselves the snakes out of this box. Thank goodness. Gonna make them very happy. Hopefully they don't bite me. I'm just gonna scoop them right up. Oh, come on guys. Oh, there they go. Here they are, these beauties. My beautiful Hog Island boas. Look at those snakes. Don't bite me guys. Yes, the male and female. How great. Let's get them outside. Look at those snakes, are beautiful. Excuse me one second, folks. Okay. All right, okay, okay. Now the other trick is, is to get these out quick before Slinky eats them. Oh, there's one right there on the camera. Excuse me. This is quite troubling. Good grief. We got, got snakes on the camera. Snakes on the plane, snakes on the camera. All right, this is it. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Snakes away. Oh, go guys, go. Be happy in your new home. Hey, wait a minute, where are you going? Why don't you come up here, get some sun. Uh, there you go. Will you? There they are. Yes. Oh, that is awesome. Now I can always add more branches to give them more exercise, but here they are in the natural sunlight. They'll find their house, no problem. Uh, right away, the snakes are investigating. And uh, remember, snakes are escape artists, so you gotta make sure it is a snake-proof enclosure. But I think we have done the trick. Very, very cool. We gotta add a plant. By adding the plant, give them more security. But look at that. Brand new snake enclosure. Now I just got to get to work on these two and uh, we'll get the Timor pythons out, the Dumarels pythons, uh, boas, excuse me, and that should be cool. Look at that interesting shadow. Very, very cool. All right, everyone, there you go. There is a video for you. Hog Island boas have a house. Showed you how I've kind of done it. Here's the finished product. We just need a plant or two and I think those snakes are going to be stoked. So, uh, all right, everybody. Um, I'm Cannon. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, you know, that's for the Cam Cannon channel. Go follow me on Instagram uh, at Cam Cannon over there for more videos. Also, go to patreon.com slash Cam Cannon where you guys can help us make more videos and the Cam Cannon Army channel. Go ahead and like and subscribe there. Lots of videos going up on that channel that you will not see any place else. So, okay, everyone, I'm Ken and I'm off and the uh, snakes are out and running too. I got to get back to work with the Aquascape guys. Can't wait to show you what's going on there as well. Bye. But uh, she's cute. All right, everyone.